storm through precipitation most often, oh, wrong button, most often form at the bottom of an ocean in a body of water. And what happens here is there are cracks in the bottom of the, in the rocks that are at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so you have water, of course, it's at the bottom of the ocean. You have water that filters down through these cracks. Okay, now, one of the first things that happens when the water filters down through the cracks is that the oxygen in the water starts to react with the iron that's in the rocks. Has anybody ever left something metal outside? The rust is what we call iron oxide. Those minerals get carried in with the water, and the water filters down deeper, deeper into the rocks. Now, I know it's kind of hard to think of rocks as being porous enough that water can filter through it, but that's what happens. Rocks can be porous, and there's a lot of cracks in those rocks, too. So you have water that filters down through the cracks. Now, this oxygen reacts with more of the minerals. It changes the acidity of the water. So you have more minerals dissolving out of the rocks and into the water. So you're building up this, this chemical solution of water and minerals from the rocks as it percolates down through the rocks. Now notice the temperature here. Notice here, you go from 60 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. So hot, hot water gets hotter and hotter as you move down into these rocks. So we get down here and we have more uh, minerals dissolving in the water. So you get this really mineral rich water, this solution that's in these rocks down here. Now what happens to air? when it gets warmer. What does warm air tend to do? Let me hear from... It's kind of the old saying, how do, what, how do hot air balloons work? Why do they oh. float? It float. It rises. Yeah. It like, it like floats. Okay, so warm air rises. Warm water rises also. So you get this water and it warms up to super hot and then what happens is it starts to rise up and it'll find a crack in the rock that it works its way up through. Not yet. It's still a mineral saturated solution. The solution of water is still just full of minerals and all of this. It works its way up into what we would call hot springs if it were in a lake. You have this warm hot water or hot water moving up through the rocks, coming up into a body of water. Okay? So I'm going to show you a video now that it's going to have a lot of cool pictures with it.